What was really eye-opening was getting an idea of just how much movement I'd lost from the injuries. Various stretches we've been doing has, has showed me that working on it has, has really resulted in, in a bit more flexibility, which I haven't traditionally had much of anyway, um, but there's still also a, a lot more work to do to get back to normal. And I'm, you know, without your expertise, David, I don't think I would have realised just how much work needed to be done. So one of the things we look for, Seb, is an objective measure. So we can actually measure if you're getting better during the course of the treatment. So when you first came in, we did that little stretch up against the wall, and really we would say you were positive for that test on your setup. You could really not even get to that position. Yeah, one thing that's been really interesting to learn is that nerves can actually affect the movement as well. I'd always thought of ligaments and, and muscles as doing that job, but uh, Dave has been telling us that we've actually got to stretch out the nerve to get a bit more of that functionality in. That's right, Sam. So the really interesting thing about nerves is they're one of the few things that actually run all the way in a continuum from the back all the way down to the foot. The things leaning forward, pick up your shoes, put your socks on, put your shorts on, all those little things, and just sitting for a long period of time, the nerves get aggravated. And because they're nerves, they get aggravated very easily and they let you know about it. When